Welcome, sports fans. Here we are. We're at round seven of the Aquadiva Iron Female Qualifying Series. I'm here with Trent Golding. We're going to have a great day today, aren't we, mate? Yeah, had a little panic attack there, mate. I'm excited too. <laughs> here um, we go. There's the start list. There's our start list. Steph Cronin, Danielle Radford have done several rounds, doing well in the series. Chloe Jones, also a regular competitor. Jess Walker in the first appearance. Anne Glenn doing well. Um, Casey Leo Lito and Hannah Minogue right at the top of the points series and it could be um, between those two to decide the um, overall points. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. They've been consistent, haven't they? They've been to a lot of the rounds and, com- and competed very well. Well, there's a lot of good competitors. Um, that a few have made the effort to um, make it to quite a few rounds and give themselves the opportunity to get a couple of good points scores under their belt since the top four count. That's right, mate. That's uh, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Oh, there's a roll already. Who's that? Is that uh, yellow bottom? That's Bonnie Hancock, I believe. Maybe. No. Yes. It was an off the cap. Could be Bonnie or um, Liz Clues. Bonnie or Liz? Yep. So uh, there's about six foot uh, breaking on those two banks today, and it's going to make things interesting the whole way through. Yeah, some cracking waves out there. I saw. Uh, Young Mark Bint out there putting some serious uh, coverage time over his skin earlier, so um, you know it's pretty good there. There's Liz Plumers leading out the ski leg. Liz Plumers, so they've all snuck out through that bank uh, pretty quickly actually, but that sweep from left to right, uh, right to left actually, is causing havoc throughout the day, and I wouldn't be surprised if it features at some stage in this race as the leaders go around. Who's that tucked in behind her? That's... It's actually Crystal Smith is in front. Um, she's done well, and she's, she's cleared out on the whole field. Where the hell is she going for? <laughs> Crystal, she's got a wave. It's just, obviously, you have to go around the swim cans in an Ironman race. So right, she's right. She's cut across there. Pulled a wave and then just got around them. Um, these second and third competitors, it looks like Liz, Bloomers, um, and a Moolabaka. Oh, what's happening to Crystal here? She's stuck on one of the uh, boys there. Oh, she got and, and there's all sorts of carnage happening Boom. now. Crystal stayed on the ski there, that's very well that done. I actually think Minogue having a little trouble in that. <laughs> just trying to get barreled when she should have been just going straight, but um, that's True. Surf. Yeah, there it is. So there's the uh, North Cliff Trio, Crystal Smith, uh, Elizabeth Plumers, Bonnie Hancock coming around, one, two, three. Hannah Minogue in fourth there, and Danielle Radford Franny at the top five. She's paddling well. So um, Hannah Minogue looking in fantastic spot right now for the uh, Aquadiva Surf Iron Lady Qualifying Series. She's currently quite a few points down, but she's only actually managed to get to three events. So if she has a really good race, she's going to leapfrog quite a few competitors with uh, Casey Leo currently leading. Exactly, exactly. And in, in, in the... Steph Cronin, um, also one of the... Um, right up the top of... I think she's second at the moment. So if she can put in a good race, she'll win the series. Um, it's all happening here. Right, there we go. It's, oh, I just saw Casey Leo turn up on the screen. It's uh, right. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, thanks for that, yeah, Trent. There the we, when, when you point at the screen I'm looking at, the uh, viewers can't see that, mate. So. What screen? We're doing it live from the beach. Oh, wait, of course we, of course we are. Of course we are. There's Steph Grody. Yeah. <laughs> no, so there's a few of the front girls getting hit at the moment. Um, just trying to get around those swim cans, which you obviously have to go through. So making things interesting. Go through or around? Around. Around. Nice. Nice. So that's it's... Impression. That's alright mate. No worries at all. We've still got the uh, North Country. There's Jess Walker down there. Jess Walker. Hasn't had a great ski paddle. Um, quite a bit of work to do going to the Bullets. Uh, swim swimmer, but a good swimmer, so I'm here. So you're here? How would you know that? Ah, it's a rumour. It is a rumour. Look at those waves coming through, mate. There is, it's just picked up to about 11 foot. 11? <laughs> good subject change, you know. It's a beautiful day out here. The waves are cranking off Kiram. Liz and Crystal got stuck on that bar, and now the whole field has just about caught them. Yeah, it's um, it's a it's a tough gig when you're sitting out there popping waves by yourself and there's uh, the rest of the field just padding out through clean water. So you can see them going around now. That's uh, looks like Liz in front. Liz, Liz just in front with the blue Blumers blue on her board. Snuck out in front. Uh, we've got uh, it looks like Maddie Zahn, a young uh, series competitor. She's an under 17, but doing quite well. Crystal in this just series. pushing for a wave now. Yeah. She's got that, oh, I think. Yeah, she is. It's well played. Who is that? That's Bonnie Hancock. She's turned up on the scene with another blue ball. No, it's not. 
It keeps dropping and changing that wall. It's not there on us. No, it isn't. I'm just looking at the... Uh, Maddie Dunn has streaked the field. She wasn't even in contention in the ski leg, but she's just killed it. Fucking cracking runner from a long way out. She is in front and in charge. Let's see if she can do it. It's just a swim leg to come now. She's uh, had a good transition there. Uh, completely legal, along with a few of the others, but that's oh. the way the officials see it. What's, uh, what's going on with the flag? Oh, okay, so they've gone around the turning flag. That last green flag, I don't know what it means. I don't know about that last green flag. I think that's a starting um, marker. And you I think it just saw through that. Just, just Walker, just come around the, uh, come out of the water there. Yeah, Daniel Radford. Um, Peter Tessman. Uh, Renny out that sort of top 10 area, so they're all still in the hunt. As long as they hit that can, and you know, right, but they're all running up the beach though. You can tell it's a decent sized surf today because you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight waves between the shore and the back break. So you can tell there's a lot of, a lot of uh, white water, a lot of moving water these girls have to hit before they can get to the back of the break. Yeah, a lot of duck diving and what that brings into um, contention is your uh, lung capacity. If you stay under for a while, um, you're going to obviously get that sweep that's like towing you out to sea and um, possibly go past if you can have this uh, floundering on the top of the, top of the wave. Yeah, definitely. It's always important for, uh, for the girls to have a good lung capacity. Now, um, when they get out the back of the uh, back of the surf, there they're gonna have to. Um... Oh, there's one around the can. Look at that sweep, though. They yeah, they're are really. Stuck. There is about eight girls coming out of nowhere. Um, and that's that surf for you. That, we talked about the sweep earlier. Do you think some of the girls might need to head further south to get? Along that drift further and get her, and get around the cans well, easily, if you, or if you can organise that you land right on that can, then you're clearly going to have a massive advantage on the girls that are swimming on the spot trying to get around that can. Definitely, definitely. That's Someone's North up. Perth. Someone's up. Who is that? It's a North Perth competitor, maybe Crystal Smith. Had a guess. She's, she, yeah, she's done it well. Yeah, she, she is. She is the world surf swim champion, uh, Elizabeth Boomers. So you, the, some of the girls that are at the top of the professional Who's that? Malulabar Cap? Maddie Dunn. Maddie Dunn. She's come through. She went in first and she's done enough. She's had a good swim. Fantastic board paddle and it's and it looks like it's going to really work for her. And that's a great result. Now Who's that? Better. Who is that? Jess Walker from North Beach. Is that your girlfriend? <laughs> How dare you? No, that is my girlfriend, but I'm uh, very proud of her at the moment. That's a fourth place and we'll take that. She's a fantastic <laughs> swimmer and she's really showed it here today, so um, little, little fighter she is. Well yeah, done, Jess Walker. Field. Steph Cronin. Steph Cronin. So. Uh, Chloe Jones How does in that... sixth. I think Bonnie uh, in seventh, Bonnie Hancock. A, um, she's training well, quite well at the moment. And Glenn, she's current series leader of the Junior Series. Um, and to get in the top eight again, we'll just about seal it for her. I think that will se seal it for her. So, um, Hannah Minogue has also crossed the line well, so she might get a few more points and bump up the field. How uh, how do we end up series uh, series points wise? Just going to check right? the figures now, and I'll have to get back to. You. Really? Claire Harris and uh, Byron Vega are rounding out the um, top fourteen. Top fourteen. That's an interesting number you've chosen there to go with. Oh, there we go. Thank you.